Welcome to another Alfresco featured add-ons video. This video series highlights useful add-ons that are listed in the Alfresco add-ons directory. You can see more videos like this one at addons.alfresco.com. Today we will be demoing the Wiki Rich Content add-on that is part of the Share Extras project coordinated by Alfresco engineer Will Abson. This add-on enhances the Wiki component of Alfresco Share in order to make it more useful for your team collaboration. This is a standard share site, and this wiki page demonstrates one of the neat features of this add-on. That's the dynamic table of contents. This table of contents is generated from the headings inside of the document, inside of the wiki page. It lets you jump around. This page also demonstrates the syntax highlighting feature of the add-on. Uh, you can see examples in JavaScript, uh, cascading style sheets, and free marker makes it much easier to read code snippets that are put within a page. You can get both of these features enabled by editing a page and just by choosing the the organizing the page by headings. We can see heading 1, heading 2, heading 3 automatically become part of the table of contents. And the code snippets are simply made by using the pre-tag in the HTML. You add that through the HTML view in the tiny MCE editor. Now there is one trick and that is with uh, HTML will be interpreted if you paste it into this into the HTML editor. And so you need to make sure you use HTML entities as shown in the free marker. And the way I did that is I just paste it directly into the the rich text view and then add the pre-tag afterwards. So I pasted it there and put the pre-tag in. The next feature I want to show you are interactive tables created using the Yahoo JavaScript data table uh, functionality. You can see the columns here, you can change the order. The way this is done is simply by defining the class, the HTML class, when you create a table. So we'll go to edit page and we'll come in and change the details of the table and you can see here the class is set to data table and that's all it takes for the Yahoo Java, data table JavaScript to load. You can see here that the that class gets embedded in the HTML. Now that same data table interface can be used to embed data lists within a wiki page. So on this page we have a, a data list that's being exposed in the wiki page. You can see there's two versions, one's more complete than the other. They both came come from the same data list and we can change the order of the columns in both the full one and the abbreviated. So the way this is done is we edit the page and for the table we've inserted we edit the properties of that table and that's where we can set the class and you'll see an ID number there that we get out of the data list definition. I'll show you that in a moment. We can also specify the title, uh, the titles of the columns that we want if we only want to show a couple columns. If you don't specify titles, then all will show up. So we click on the link to the specific data table we're interested in. And you see up in the URL, that is the ID we need to put into the, cl the class of the table that we want to display the data table. So let's go to our last page of examples. And this page will show a number of embedded rich content types. So You see a YouTube video, you see a Vimeo video, you can see that they play just fine right there. And we can also embed a document from the document library. And uh, you can see that we can, we can make it bigger and smaller. If it had more than one page, we'd be able to step through the pages. It's a nice way to get that content exposed through, the, through a wiki page. So to do this, we edit the page and in TinyMC, 
we create a link. And when we create that link, we have two new options. We can embed, oh, we put in a link to the content, and then we can embed either with a link or without a link the content. If we want a link, it'll say uh, the text that we're linking above the content being embedded, and without a link, it'll remove that text and just show the content. So let's add an additional document link. So here we've selected another trail map and we insert it with the document link tool and then we edit it and decide that we want to embed it. And we're going to embed it with the link. After we save, we can see that that content now shows up at the bottom. You can get more details about the add-on in the accompanying featured add-on article. If you give this add-on a try, I hope you share your experience with others through a vote or a comment in the add-ons directory. There are many more interesting alfresco add-ons in the directory at addons.alfresco.com.